What's up, everybody? Uh, today, I am going to bring you, uh, show you how to make a wobble bass on GarageBand, otherwise known as a, um, a, a you hear it a lot in dubstep, if you know what that is. Um, if not, look up, uh, you know, the genre dubstep and whatever. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to GarageBand and you're going to get a instrument, you're going to go to bass, and you're going to want to get a deep round synth bass. Okay, it's right here the first one there depending on what version you have um, now I saved the instrument it's called wobble bass uh, dubstep bass um, but I'm just gonna bring up the round synth and just show you how to do it alright so now that you have that up what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to go down to effects and uh, change up or uh, add a where is it? Um, automatic filter. You're going to want to add an automatic filter. You're going to want to click on the icon. All right, and basically what this is, is this is what actually creates the sound. You want to make sure this is on up down. So it kind of makes that. Oh, well, wait. Let me just change up the frequency a little bit. Change the intensity. Bring it up. And then I'll bring this up. I don't know why it's so quiet. Um, wait, oopsie. Um, well, let me just show you the actual the one I made. That's that's how you do it. But here's the actual uh, version of it. Okay, but that, that's the actual, uh, the basics of it. Um, frequency, you know, controls um, how intense it is, you know. Well, actually, intensity does that, but... You know, this uh, kind of controls, you know, how, how strong the sound is. Um, this is really kind of what... This and intensity and speed and frequency are really what matters. Resonance, uh, it kind of matters, but I, I don't pay attention much to it. And um, well, that's about it. There you go, guys. Um, thanks for watching.